After making these modular wood floors, I now needed some accessories to bring life to my building's interiors. So I started with some foam core, which I cut into strips and peeled the paper off of. These are going to be some large storage shelves, like might be found in a tavern basement or a warehouse or something like that. I carved some wood patterns into them, starting with using a straight edge and a pencil to make the space between the wood planks. And don't forget when you're doing wood grain or wood pattern like this to detail the edges as well so that on the sides it doesn't look flat. For the wood grain pattern itself, I did it freehand with just a pencil. After making the modular wood floors, I decided I preferred using a pencil and freehanding the wood grain pattern instead of using the wire brush method. It's a little more cartoony and bold looking, but the wire brush just tore up the foam. Next step was to glue all the pieces together and secure them with straight pins. Now some people like using hot glue in this kind of situation so that they don't have to secure the pieces with pins like this, but I find hot glue gets ugly and it can lump up and you get all those little strings from it. I prefer white glue. For the next accessory, I cut a piece of foam core into a long one inch strip using a fresh X-Acto knife blade. I then cut that strip into two inch pieces. These will be interior walls used to mark off rooms in a building. After peeling off the paper, I decided to try a little trick with my hot wire cutter of notching a door into the walls. I did this by setting my fence to almost right against the wire, then melting out a small notch on both sides of the wall just short of an inch wide. I then made the same little notch on each edge to be the gap at the bottom of the door. And by cutting the notch on both edges, the walls could face either direction. These walls and doors aren't full scale and they aren't as tall as they would be to the minis exactly. They'll actually be a little bit shorter on the table but I wanted for them to indicate walls without obstructing the view of the playing area too much. For the next set of accessories, I cut out a one inch square strip from pink insulation foam. I then cut that strip into blocks. These are gonna be used to make bookcases, dressers, and beds. So I use the same trick as the door to notch out the legs of the dressers and bookcases.
I decided it would be easier to cut off the sides of the bookcases to do the details of the books and then just reattach the sides again later. I also cut the legs and headboards of the beds and the shelves of the bookcases with the hot wire cutter before moving on to add the details by hand. I started with adding books to the bookcases with a pencil. I also used some scraps of foam core to make some little wooden tables, adding wood grain again with the pencil. These little tables could be in a tavern or a countertop in a store or something like that. I also drew wood planks on the doors of the walls even though I didn't record it and show it here. I used the pencil to add drawers to the dressers. And then used an X-Acto knife to shape the beds to have soft edges like blankets and linens. I also carved out some pillows for the beds. I then added some lines on the beds with the pencil to indicate sheets and blankets. Then I glued the little tables together and glued the sides back on the bookshelves. Then I glued the walls together using my right angle ruler to make sure they were square. And I had a nice set of accessories for building interiors, but they weren't done yet, they still needed painted. I started on the storage shelves with my mix of Mod Podge and black paint so they would be extra protected. In case I wanted to use them as extra walls or floor pieces and put minis on them, they'd be a little more durable. The walls I base coated in gray since they weren't going to be wood like everything else, but instead would be a plaster color.
but brown straight out of the bottle was painted on everything else as a base. The dressers, bookcases, tables, and bed frames all got a base coat of brown. And I coated the storage shelves with the brown as well. After basing everything in the basic brown shade, I used an off-white to paint the linens on the beds. I also used the off-white to paint some of the books on the bookcases. I then pulled out some orange and did a light dry brush of the orange on all the wood grain to brighten it up. Then the orange was also used to make some books and then several other colors like blue, green, yellow, and red were used to paint more of the books. And then some of those colors were used to paint the bedding on the beds. After everything had been colored, I applied a dark wash of black with a little bit of brown mixed in it to all of the pieces. This wash really brings out the details of the wood grain and even brings out the little details in the dressers, bookcases, and even the blankets for the beds. Going back to the walls, I painted the doors the basic brown color, then mixed up a plaster color of off-white and yellow for the walls themselves. And with that, I had lots of interesting interior accessories to really bring my building interiors to life. And everything was modular, so many different configurations could be made to make a room, or an inn, or a storage basement, or a house, or anything. 
If you like this video, be sure to check out some of my other D&D crafting videos, subscribe to see future videos, and thanks for watching.